all these people like that? Uh, overall, I just felt like, you know, in a job in a big job interview, you know, just a lot of guys coming out here and competing, you know, showing their athletic ability, showing what they're capable of doing, and just going out there and producing. You know, all the hard work that we've been through the last few months to work up here to get all to this spot, you know, it's just been tough, you know. You just got to come in here and stay focused and work harder than everybody else. Do you feel like you impressed? I feel like overall I impressed. I had a good uh, combine, and overall I feel like today was a good pro day for me. So I feel like all my numbers and all that turned out as planned. So I know my next step is just to keep working hard all the way up to the draft, and then wait for draft day and see who I get picked. What does this mean to you to do the pro day here at Oklahoma? I mean, I mean, like you know, I spent the last few months with these guys. I bleed with, I bleed with these guys, like these guys that I'm around for. So I feel like overall, like they stand behind me. I'm standing behind them no matter what, and I'm going to be a boomer sooner. What was your time like here? It's kind of unique compared to most people. Yeah, I felt like my time here, you know, I learned a lot, you know, I, uh, you know, took a lot of things to mind, you know, sat out for a year, you know, saw saw a lot of things, saw things that normally you, normally you want to see as a, you being playing, playing time and all that stuff, but taking that, you know, that year off, you know, you, re you realize a lot of things and you know what you need to do to get to those spots and just how hard it is to make your way up to that top spot. What was the toughest part about sitting out that year? Uh, just, just missing, just missing the season. You know, I mean, never, I never missed a season in my entire life, even growing up. So I just felt like that, you know, it, it was a big deal for me. You know, and I felt like that, you know, I, I regretted whatever all the mistakes that I had. But I know I'm still become a better person by being here, being around these guys, and they took me in. You know, let me know like, hey, they got my back. So I know that they made me a better person. You, you were able to kind of be out of the spotlight for a little while. What was it like when you first went to the combine and? It was the media crush, and you had that big press conference. I mean, it, I mean, I felt like overall it wasn't too big, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, I haven't talked to the media since 2013, so I know that like I knew that was gonna be a big thing for me for going there and just answer all those questions, which is I went in there, did everything I need to do, and just had fun with it. And, you know, had a great combine with all the other guys, you know, seeing seeing guys, seeing what they've been through, watched a whole bunch of guys, and now I was in that position to be able to get back on the field and perform. How do you take all this in? I mean, a lot of us were kind of hiding in the bushes when that day you showed up to, to uh, <laughs> I remember that. do your team stuff. I mean, it was a big deal and around here, and it became kind of like a, a, a mania a little bit. But you go through that. You go through the year that you went through. Now you have your pro day. I mean, just this year at Oklahoma, what are you going to take away from it most? Well, I mean, one thing that I know when I leave here is that I'm going to have a lot of memories being with these guys, you know. I mean, even though I didn't play this last season, I'm still going to have some great memories, you know, just, just being around these great people, you know, just playing for, just being here, working with Coach Stoops, just getting better, you know, taking that extra time in the weight room, classroom, all that, just being a better person on the field and off the field. And, and it also wasn't like just an overnight deal. I mean, you, you came down, oh, you came down to the wire with you mm -hmm. and you chose your, your school out of high school. Yeah. Was it, I mean, does it make it a little bit more special that you could kind of spend this time here and, and have your pro day here because of that? Yes, sir. And one thing that I always remember, uh, right after I did sign with Missouri, I remember the only phone call getting was from Jay Norvell and Coach Stoops, the only two guys to congratulate me on committing and signing with Missouri. So I know that the respect level was there. So I knew that they all, they had my back. They, they knew what type of person I was. So they knew when I got down here that they knew everything about me that other people don't know. So that I knew it was going to be a great, respectful level down here. I know you had a chance to follow your dreams and, and make real money and all that stuff. But if there's one regret, is it that you couldn't play a game? out there on the field in front of the fans here? Yeah, yeah, I mean, just, you know, just uh, putting myself in that position, you know, watching these guys, you know, lose games and stuff like that, which is, they, they don't usually do that, you know, but I tried to prepare myself for them to win those games at practice. So, I mean, I, I, I wish I had that chance to play with them. I wish I would have been there on the field, even though we still lost, even if I was there taking a loss with them, they knew that I'm still going to have that back, even though that I still didn't get the chance to play. It was still important for me to let them know that I'm still here. Was it was it hard from the perspective of you did see them losing? You knew if you were out there, you could probably make a difference? Yes, sir, I know I could make a big difference being out there, you know, using me as another receiver and helping Duran and Sterling out. I knew that was going to be big, you know, just having a big target out there for the outside and helping Sterling, you know, with his injuries and not, you know, putting a whole lot of pressure on him. When you, uh, Given the relationship you just said you had with Coach Stoops, Coach Norvell, when, when you left Missouri, was Oklahoma on your mind uh, right away, or did, did that sort of how did that come about? Uh, yeah, it, it was it was on my mind after I left Missouri because, like I like I said, like the only thing that I remember, so I knew that the only thing that I remember 
when I saw him from Missouri was that was you know having that respectful level with them, and I knew that they knew what type of person I was. Mm -hmm. So I knew that all the stuff that was said and all that stuff about me and all this, they they knew what type of person I was. They know that's not me. They know I don't do those things. Mm -hmm. So I knew that it was a better chance to try to get in here than anywhere else because they knew what type of person I was. So. What was it like during the way?